now again we're going to solve this almost similar question that we had done in the last one the question is here in a group of students 18 read biology 19 read chemistry and 16 read physics 6 read biology only 9 read chemistry only and 5 read biology and chemistry only and 2 read chemistry and physics only and now we need to give the answers of these four questions how many students uh, read all three questions all three subjects how many how many read biology and physics only how many read physics only and how many students are all together there all right so uh same we need to give the three puns first one is writing all the given information properly second one is representing those given information into the vein diagram and third finding out the solution all right uh, based uh, based on or analyzing the uh, vein diagram all right so i'm just gonna write all the given informations all right and here uh let let uh b represents biology all right and c represent chemistry and uh, p represents physics all right then what are the information we have got that uh, in a group of students 18 read biology all right so uh, number of biology learners are how much 18 and next one is uh, 60 read physics so 19 read chemistry okay so number of chemistry learners is 19 and 16 read physics so number of physics learner is 16 next one six read biology only only biology so not all right and not biology and not b it means they only read biology and nine read chemistry only similarly nine uh, and not chemistry that is uh, nine and five read biology and chemistry only okay so biology and chemistry only how much uh, that's five okay and next one to read uh, chemistry and physics only so the students who learn chemistry and physics only these two subjects they study is two so now we need to represent this into the vein diagram so let's try to represent here in vein diagram this given information all right uh, there are three subjects so let me write a little bit in a bigger way all right so let me suppose this is my physics chemistry and one is biology all right fine let me give the name to all mm. this is you all the students mm. physics chemistry and biology so now we need to start from where i told you already from the north sections where are the north sections the students who just learn biology they are just learning biology who are those so just learner biology is, these are and just learning uh, chemistry is nine all right they only read chemistry and now the students who learn biology and chemistry only bio and chemistry only means this section they are talking about all right because if you take this one they also learn bio and chemistry but they learn physics also we need only students who learn bio and chemistry and those are five and after that chemistry and physics learner just chemistry and physics they are talking about uh, sorry they are talking about this chemistry and physics not this section because this sections yes they study physics and chemistry but they study bio also so that's why we are not going to include that and that's how much two now based on this we need to finish this whole faint diagram all right to finish this faint diagram i think you got the clue now see about see just circle of chemistry all the uh, positions all the uh, places are filled except this section all right this section is not filled we need to fill so to fill this you know that total students learning chemistry is how much 19 all right total total uh, 19 is this this complete circle is 19 you know so uh, out of 19 9 already have written so 10 is left and 5 and then Two, so there is three all right because total chemistry learner were 19 and out of that nine learn just chemistry and five learn just bio and chemistry and uh, two learn just physics and chemistry so what is the left the left are those who learn bio chemistry and physics all all right so uh, so it's three because 19 minus 9 10 10 minus 5 and then 5 minus 2 3 all right so now this finished once you've uh, fill here you got another clue for filling up this biology now see in biology biology total learners are how much mm, 18 all right so out of 18 you have already written 6 see you are 18 
and out of 18 you have already written this 6 all right and this 5 all right and now you know this 3 also so how much is left now so 18 minus 6 12 12 minus 5 uh, 7 7 minus 3 4 so there are four students who are learning just physics and biology now you feel this also now check up in the physics every places are filled except this one all right so now we can easily fill this place so again uh, we know that the total number of students who are learning physics is how much 16 so out of 16 uh, out of 16 we have written this 4 all right we have written this 3 now now we have written this minus 2 also so now 16 minus 4 12 12 minus 3 9 9 minus 2 7 so there are seven students who are learning physics only so now whatever the question is asking just this this was our first step this was our second step and the third step giving the answers to the questions all right how many students are all together there all uh, sorry how many students read all three subjects so there are three students who are learning all the subjects now the next question is how many read biology and physics only just they're learning bio and physics bio and physics all right so those students who just learn biology and physics are this one it's biology and physics they also learn bio and physics but but you know they have given here only they're not allowed to learn chemistry so these are only the students so these are four next one how many read physics only so these all learn physics but only they are saying these learn chemistry also so we cannot take this they learn all three so we cannot take this they learn by also so we are not allowed to see so we are just this seven people only read physics all right and how many students are all together so just we need to add everyone all right so let's let, let's add all so uh, seven and then two and then three and then nine and then five and then six and then four this is all together i just added this all this all section all right so this is our seven i write two also i write three also i write nine also i write five also i write six also i write four also all right so let me add this now seven plus two uh nine nine plus three twelve twelve plus nine uh twenty one twenty one plus five twenty six twenty six plus six thirty two thirty two and four thirty six so all together there are how many strengths there were 36 strengths all right like this you need to solve the problems i hope you understand this question and if there is any more uh, confusion in this question then please feel free to comment just below this video i really appreciate something to hear from your side and please don't forget to subscribe the channel goodbye